Hey everybody, how's it going? So it's been a while since I posted my last YouTube video. Bruh. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. So a lot's changed during that time. Obviously, first thing you can see, this is a completely new setup. I've got my own place. I'm no longer living with my friends, unfortunately. But fortunately, I am in my own spot now. And uh, that means new setup, new YouTube studio, new everything. It's supposed to float. It's supposed to stay, stay, yeah. See, it's supposed to float like that, but anytime I, anytime I bang the table, it just, it goes put, you know? So we'll see if this, this prop stays or not, you know, but I got some Bitcoin in front of me. I got some T-Fox cars, some books, you know, because knowledge. Thank you, Ty Lopez. Appreciate it. You said it best. A lot has happened since I posted my last video. So what's happened, you know, other than Mark Cuban doing my TikTok dance. Yeah, so I'm not trying to get copyrighted or anything, but just know it's a good song. And Mark absolutely killed it. Yeah, that happened. Yep, you guys can see that. That, that, that happened and I'm so proud. <laughs> oh man, I actually met Mark, really cool guy. And I was super hyped when I saw him actually do the dance that I created along with a lot, of, a lot of other people. Anyways, follow me on TikTok, but that's not the reason why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to give you guys a little update. There's, you know, it's 2020 now. There's a lot of new stuff going on, especially with the coronavirus. And we're gonna talk about that today. You know, we're gonna talk about the changes in drop shipping, how you can still succeed, what's changed, um, what I'm doing now. I'm doing a lot of new things, so. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and it's gonna be a short video, but it's mainly just an update video telling you guys I'm alive, I'm well, I'm happy, and I hope you are as well. So also in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys three tips that will help you in your dropshipping business. So stick around, watch this whole video, and you will get some great tips. What else? So I went on a vacation with my brothers. We were straight dropshipping money. We uh, went to the Bahamas and Atlantis and had a very, very fun time. So I'm pretty happy that we were able to get a little vacation before this whole quarantine lockdown thing happened. And right now I'm still in California. So I don't know how the lockdown is across the state still, but right now in California, it is still very, very bad. Not as bad as New York, but it is still, you know, probably Los Angeles, I don't know, is, 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 is up there. Anyways, I hope wherever you guys are, you're safe, you're happy, you got some masks on, just like Bond over here. And you know, actually, you know what? I'll give away some masks for this video. I've got a lot of masks. I've got way too many. Um, so on top of the consulting call, we'll talk about that. If you wanna win a free consulting call and some masks, um, you know, I'll do two different things. One person will win masks, one person will win a consulting call. But to win a free consulting call, all you have to do is one, be subscribed, two, like this video, and three, comment ecom, uh, E-C-O-M. And you know, you, you are then entered to win a free consultant call. We can talk about whatever you want. It's all about helping you out. I wanna make sure you're doing well. And however I can help, I would love to. So comment down below, subscribe and like this video and you're entered to win one, a mask and two, a free consultant call. So um, yeah, I'm still doing consultant calls, everybody. I certainly have enough. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've got a whole box here and I've got plenty more coming. I'm about to actually, after this video, I'm about to go to the post office and send a lot of these out to friends and family but I have plenty more, so if you guys need some, you know, that's how you can get it. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's like 800 in this box or something like that, and I've got like another thousand coming. Uh, other than that, let's see what else has changed. So there's a couple of reasons why I haven't really been posting lately. Um, obviously, number one is the move. Number two, I, I've been dealing with some medical stuff, some medical issues, but I'm doing much better now. Or if you're not healthy, nothing really else matters, you know? Number one priority is staying healthy. If you're not healthy, you can't do anything, you know? So make sure you're healthy. Make sure you're, you're doing well mentally. Make sure you're doing you know everything you can to stay physically fit, even though all the gyms are closed. I bought a yoga mat and I'm doing uh, Steve Cook's 550 rep home workouts um, and uh, basically any kind of home workout I can get. I got a pull up bar now and, and everything's set up. You can, but anyways, guys, I'm doing everything I can um, and I'm back now. I'll be posting about at least one or two times a week. My goal is to do two to three times a week, two to three videos a week, but you know, obviously that can change. I've got a lot of cool videos, really, really cool video ideas that I want to do in the future. As you guys know, the stock market is going absolutely crazy right now, up and down all over the place. And I wanna make a video trading options, starting with $1,000 and seeing if I can turn that $1,000 into anything, you know, hopefully more, more than what I started with. But you know, you guys will either see me make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. If you guys don't know what options is, I'll put a little box right here, pretty intricate, but instead of buying shares of a stock, you're buying contracts. So let's just say that stock goes up 2%, that contract could go up 20%. So it's a lot more volatile. So that means I could either make a lot of money with that $1,000 or lose a lot of money with that $1,000. You guys will see how it, how it turns out. Hopefully I make money with that. That's, that's the goal, you know, but the stock market is unpredictable and it's gonna be a fun little challenge video. So this is mainly a dropshipping channel, but 
I want to have some diversity. I want to, you know, make a couple other videos, other types of videos. You know, one being like I just mentioned, the stock market video. I'm going to be making videos in the future about how to create a one product store. You guys will be able to watch me literally create a one product store step by step, find a product, you know, product research, create a whole Shopify site start to finish. You can follow along if you want, but it'll be a great fun video that uh, I can't wait to make. So on top of those videos, I'll be still making a lot of drop shipping videos, obviously, and that's my main source of income right now. My stores are doing very well. I have a lot of great stuff in store and I've got some amazing businesses that I'm working on right now that I can't really talk too much about yet, but you guys will see those come into fruition and uh, it's gonna be amazing. Like I said, I can't, I'm super excited and I cannot wait to, to bring these uh, businesses you know, to life. That being said, number one is do not use e-packet shipping. E-packet shipping is no longer viable. It is no longer as good as it used to be. And that's just because planes aren't flying out of China at the rate they used to be. Products being shipped by e-packet are literally just staying in China waiting to be shipped out. And it's gonna take a lot longer than what it probably says on AliExpress. Uh, it's probably gonna take about a month minimum to get to your customer, unless you're lucky pretty much. But e-packet is no longer reliable. I suggest you use other shipping methods, although it might be free for some of you guys on AliExpress. Free does not always mean good. So. I'm gonna be giving you guys uh, some alternatives. Obviously right now the best thing to do if you're doing product research, trying to find a new product, would be to look for products that have a US supplier because obviously US suppliers will deliver a lot faster than any kind of supplier overseas will. But that's not a stipulation to, to get your store going. You don't absolutely need that. Obviously it'll help you more. You'll have more happy customers. They'll get the product faster and you can get return customers on the end and you might make a little bit more money in the long run, but you will probably lose a little bit more money in the, uh, the sh in, in the short end because you're gonna be spending more obviously for that product because it's in the US. You know, these masks, for example, are worth three times, four times more in the US than they are, or if you're getting it shipped from the US than it would be if you were shipping it from overseas. That's just how it goes. If you're looking for shipping methods, instead of ePacket, look up stuff like Yoon Express. That's a great shipping method right here. I'll put it up so you can see it. Um, Y-U-N Express. Shipping time is about uh, seven to 15 days, eight to 15 days, depending on what country and the, you know obviously the weight of the product um, and the type of the product. The smaller products obviously are going to ship faster than the larger products because that's just how it works. But shipping cost is going up. And that's, that's across the board. All the suppliers in China, shipping cost is going up um, because less packages are being able to be sent from China to the US. A lot of these planes that are supposed to be supplying products from China to the US are no longer flying or there are a lot less of them flying because of the virus situation. You know, it's a lot harder to get a big product into the US and if it's into the US, it's gonna take a little bit of time to process and everything. So not only is it gonna cost you more money to ship a product, it's gonna take you more time and the customer is probably not gonna be as happy because they're gonna have to um, wait another week or so compared to you know the, the, the week long or two week long shipping. It might be three weeks if you're using, or it might be four weeks if you're using ePacket. It could be even more than that. You know, one of my suppliers told me that ePacket products or ePacket shipping method is just not reliable anymore whatsoever. A great way to get around the ePacket shipping method is to use a sourcing agent. You know, that's why I have this right here. Uh, if you're interested in sourcing, there's a link in the description where you can apply to source your product directly through my sourcing agency. And that's, you know, we can get you much faster shipping methods than what you're currently using. And also on top of that, we can most likely save you money on your product costs alone. So we'll save you time, we'll save you money, and we'll automate your fulfillment process, making you not have to work nearly as hard as you do right now. Just focus on some ads and we will focus on everything else in the back end. So that being said, check out the link in the description, dropshipagent.co. That's the name of the sourcing agency and it does wonders. So if you're interested, all you have to do is fill out the little application at the bottom of our main page, give us your AliExpress link, your product uh, URL for your store, what countries you're shipping to. So we just kind of have a gist of what kind of quote we can make for you. And then once we have all of that information, it takes like 15 seconds to fill out, but we can give you quotes. We'll send you back a response saying, hey, we can get you this product for this price, this shipping method, if you're interested, awesome. If you're not, then everything's good still. You know, it doesn't really matter. You know, if, if you're getting a better price somewhere else, that's that's great and I'm happy for you. You know, you might as well see if you can get a better price through our sourcing agency. Now, another thing on top of that is make sure your customers know that uh, the shipping methods that you're using, especially if it's a shipping method that is going to be extended, let your customer know that your shipping is going to be extended. So you'll have a lot less chargebacks, you know, uh, customer support tickets, that kind of stuff. You don't want to deal with that. Obviously, customer support is something that happens no matter what, especially if you're selling a lot. But if you can let your customer know beforehand that, hey, it's going to take two weeks, three weeks to get this product delivered to you, they are a lot more understanding than saying, you know, it's going to be 
five days shipping and then it be three and a half weeks. You know, that's not what you want. You want your customer to know exactly what they're ordering. Some people think that not letting your customers know that it's going to take that long will hurt your sales. When in reality, what's going to hurt your store is the, the chargebacks, the refunds, the unhappy customers, the customer support tickets, all of that from customers thinking that they're going to get their product within a week and not understanding that it's going to take longer than that because of this virus situation. Make sure you're completely transparent. Make sure every one of your customers knows very well that it's going to be extended a little bit longer. Tip number two while we're at it would be don't really focus on selling outdoor products. Right now, as you guys know, we're in a lockdown and nobody can really go outside unless you absolutely have to. So if you're selling outdoor products, they're not going to perform as well as they did before this whole lockdown situation. Who knows how long we'll be in lockdown. And you know, there's no point in promoting a fishing rod if you can't go fishing because it's not a necessity. You know, people just aren't out and about doing what they used to do um, before this whole lockdown situation. So think about products, like I mentioned, that are indoor products, products that are workout products, home workout products, any kind of product you can use inside. People are getting bored as heck in their houses and they're looking for something to entertain them. So if they see an ad for this really cool impulse buy for a product that you can use in your house, that's going to do a lot better than an outdoor product that you can't necessarily use right now because obviously the demand is much higher and people just simply can't use that product if it's an outdoor product. So that being said, look for products that you can use inside and that'll do a lot better. That's a great tip. I'm only going out if I absolutely need to. Um, and you know, that's if I need food, uh, if I've eaten all my food supply and I need to get new food or something like that. I'm shipping a bunch of masks to my family members to make sure all my family members have masks. You know, that's a necessity. Um, but other than that, I'm not going out of my apartment unless I absolutely have to, as you should as well. That's how we combat the virus and that's how we can become healthy again. That's how we can limit the spread of the virus, is better said. And lastly, tip number three is to use emotion in your ad copies. Use emotion when you're selling. Right now is a very emotional time. Selling emotion is so much more profitable than selling a product with a sale or something like that. You know, you can say, hey, 50% off, 60% off, 80% off, whatever you wanna do, but that does not nearly uh, perform as well as if you sell emotion. That being said, create a little story on the caption above your ad if you're using a photo ad. If you're using a video ad, tell a little story in that video besides saying 50% off, store closing, sale now, that, that, that sparks no emotion. But if you have a product like, for example, this right here, I'll pop it right here. If you have a product like this right here, this product is literally a lamp that sterilizes through UV light. Think about how beneficial that could be to your customer. Right now, the, the supply for cleaning products like Lysol wipes or anything like that is completely crazy. All the stores are sold out, so there's really no way to get disinfecting wipes or cleaning wipes unless you want to order online and let it take a little while to wait in line at Walmart or something like that and when they restock, go crazy and fight with a hundred other people trying to get the same thing. Or three, get a really great product like this, like a UV light product that sanitizes your phone, it could sanitize anything you want through UV light. Now, this is just an example, but you know, you can spark an emotion in your ad copy by explaining how beneficial this is. You know, people are going crazy right now to stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, and not get sick. So if they see a product that could potentially help them with that, then that would be a no-brainer for me. If I saw this on my Facebook feed or my Instagram feed, I would literally, I'd, I'd buy it, I'd buy it all day. So this is an amazing product recommendation. If you guys stuck to the end, then hopefully you're, you're seeing this. Um, but this product I know will do very, very well because of just the, the fear factor behind um, people not wanting to get sick. They don't want to get sick and they're willing to spend 40, 50, 100 bucks for something like this that's reusable. You know, a Lysol wipe thing is maybe, I don't know, 20, 10, 20 bucks. I don't know the exact price, but you can only use it a certain amount of times until all the wipes go away. This product right here, it's rechargeable and it's a UV light and it does almost the same job as those disinfecting wipes. So now you can get it for a one-time purchase and it's as good as long as it works for, you know, and, and, and that's all that really matters. And that really, really will help out, you know, think about products that are beneficial. Think about products that will not only make you money, but help people in this situation. You want it to be a win-win situation. And that's exactly what this can be. So that being said, those are the three tips. I hope you guys stuck around to the end to watch it. This last tip I know for a fact will help a lot of people. Now, I'm not saying go out there and sell hand sanitizer because that's, I don't know if you can get away with that on Facebook ads, but this is a product that you can get away with on Facebook ads, I'm pretty sure. 
um, it's just a UV light. You know, there's no chemicals or anything like that. It's just a light that does the same job as these sanitizing products. So go out there and go crazy because I'm sure that this product will do wonders. That being said, this is just a short video. I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm gonna be making videos on the regular now. I hope you guys are all doing well. I had to deal with a couple of things. That's why I was able to post, but I, you know, I'm, I'm drop shipping still. I've been drop shipping and I'll never stop drop shipping unless some drop shipping V2 comes around. And of course you guys will be the first to know. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's stuck around and who's watching this video now. I know it's been a little while since I've posted and I just wanna say I appreciate you, you know, for sticking around. Life happens and some things come up and you just have to deal with them as they do, but you just make the best of it. That being said guys, giving you guys a little update on what I'm doing, how I'm doing, where I'm at. I'm in a new place, new apartment, I'm doing well, I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I'm super, super, super excited to start making these videos for you guys again on the regular. So like I said, one to two videos a week minimum, I'm shooting for two to three, but obviously quality comes before quantity, and I wanna make sure that my videos that I post are, are very high quality. So if you have any cool ideas you want me to do in the future video ideas, just leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I'm, gonna be, I'm going to be responding to every single comment in this video uh, for the first couple days. So if you leave a comment, there's a 100% chance that I will see it and there's a 100% chance that I will respond to it if you comment within the first couple of days. You know, obviously if you're watching this video six months down the line, I probably won't comment back. If you're watching the videos when I post it, I'm very active in the comment section and I will respond to any kind of question or comment you have because that's what the comment section's for, baby. I've got a lot of great ideas coming around and I'm gonna be pumping them out and uh, I hope you guys are ready and I hope you guys are excited, as excited as I am because you know this is a new chapter it's gonna be an amazing time. It's gonna be a great time and we're gonna learn a lot of new things and I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of great information and we're gonna be having fun on this channel. It's not only gonna be drop shipping, it's gonna be other cool challenges, business related, other ways to make money, other ways to uh, you know succeed and thrive during this virus situation. Just cool entertaining videos pretty much. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to win a free consultant call and win some free masks, just all you have to do is one, be subscribed, two, like this video, and three, comment ecom, and you are entered. It is that simple, literally that simple, it takes five seconds. If you do not have the post notifications set up, click that little bell, and you'll know exactly when I post these videos. And other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video coming up shortly. Um, just wanted to give you a little update. Everybody, take care. Thank you for watching until the end. Once again, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I can't, my, my camera's too far away now. I can't, I can't like close the camera. Peace. And just, boom, wait, hold up. Boom, yeah, check that out, it's floating.